All right, what's going on, everybody? So I don't know about you guys, but as I've been trying to sort through, to comprehend, and to dissect what's going on in the world right now, I just feel more than ever in my spirit that things just seem off. But it is an off in the sense that there's a lot of confusion and unknown that we are not aware of or privy to, but that God, of course, he's in control, but things are just about to go down. And so I don't know what that looks like exactly, but I know that uh, the military, as well as the things that are happening in the background, the clandestine covert type stuff, all of those things will come about. And even as you look at the hints of the economic, the political sort of things that have happened recently, the moves and the counter moves, you know that things just seem off. It seems like there's a lot of misdirection and a lot of just you know false flags, a lot of people trying to get themselves ready to do certain things, but then they just kind of pull off, right? So take, for example, you have the, uh, the Trump stuff. And so his uh, candidacy was a huge, as people are just trying to dissect this, a huge misdirection for the establishment and the people that are trying to go against him. You had the false flag with the Poland stuff. They were going to blame that on Russia. But of course, after sort of, quote unquote, nothing came about of this, at least from the normal persp person's perspective, they just kind of said, oh, no, that wasn't uh, Ukraine. Whoopsie kind of thing. You had Bush and Obama trying to do their uh, their summit of trying to fight uh, misinformation or whatever it is that they were trying to do co coincidentally a day or two after his announcement. And then, of course, if you've been following, and this is something that not a lot of people follow, but if you look at military activity, airplanes, and just a lot of the movements for what's publicly available, the, the National Guard, their activity is increasing uh, a lot. There's a lot of flights in the air. There's a lot of people that track this stuff. But basically, there's uh, flights that are leaving the U.S. And then you got a lot of the economic stuff happening, right? The fallout from the FTX. Uh, come to find out that the Ukraine uh, money laundering, as well as it uh, funneling back to the Democrats, those things and the donations that have happened, a lot of those things are real stuff. And people are just starting to uncover this sort of money laundering scheme that's been happening. Recently, you had Elon Musk poll people about whether Trump should be reinstated. And that's all they said, right? Just, you know, would who would want Trump to be reinstated? And as the, the poll went out on Twitter, he had uh, tweeted that it's interesting looking at all the bot activity. And so I think it was sort of a trap. These guys were tracking where this activity was coming from just to to notice what this establishment, the people that are behind all of this, are trying to do with regards to their statistical manipulation, their uh, narrative uh, crafting and things like that. And then, of course, uh, over overwhelmingly, people wanted to have Trump reinstated and Elon basically then unblocking his account. And the account, if you go there, it's as if nothing happened and it's there ready to go. He's gotten millions more followers since and a lot of people have been commenting and it seems like it's just ready to go with regards to whatever tweet that he wants to say, even though he's publicly stated that he would not go to it. And so let's see what happens there. And then you have rationing starting to happen in the UK with eggs and many, many things over there. And it's sort of a dire crisis with the looming winter season approaching. And then you have the U.S. facing major power outages. you got a lot of different issues with the infrastructure in the U.S. And then you got a lot of the companies laying off workers. So if you if you saw Amazon announce thousands or tens of thousands, possibly, of workers being laid off, and that's significant because it's the holiday season. Typically, they reach or they hire a lot more people so that they can take on the holiday demand. And so because it's being cut, it goes to show that there's a lot of things that is not in demand. And then the shipping companies, the logistics guys, UPS and FedEx, those kind of companies, they're also slowing down a bit. And so it, it's showing that the demand or the forecasted demand, all of these things are possibly not where it should be. And so it's sort of kind of begging this question of the looming collapse of what's going on with regards to the impending stock market as well as the economic crash that will happen at some point and then that will kick off many things. I've talked about gas prices, the diesel prices, and all that as well being a big catalyst. And so a lot of us right now are just kind of waiting, a lot of things happening sort of behind the scenes or it's not been publicly announced uh, yet. And same with how 2008 was just a sudden sort of kind of onslaught. A lot of people kind of hush-hush about certain news, certain things. Who knows what these, you know, 
uh, manipulated economic indicators are telling us with you know all, all of the data that's been coming out the last couple of months, the true inflation, the true unemployment, the true CPI and all these things, like what's really going on here. And so a lot of things, guys, are not what it seems. And my sense tells me that something is uh, terribly off and that a lot of us are being told certain things. And as I mentioned in the last couple of videos about the narrative war we are living in, living in we are in a fifth generation warfare with information and misinformation and just this battle for your mind. So all these things are happening because people are trying to win a war and trying to influence you. And so again, a lot of things are happening in the public eye in multi layers. And I feel like we're just at that point. A lot of people are not even realizing what's going on. So they still need to hit the precipice before people continue to wake up and desire for change, but many of us are already there. And I think a lot of us are just waiting for the next steps. We need to keep praying. We need to keep doing our part. But I feel in my spirit that there are things that are about to go down very soon. I think they're going to happen very suddenly, very quickly. And a lot of things will hit the American or the world uh, normies in a hard way. And so again, I'm here just waiting on the Lord. I'm here optimistic. And I believe we're about to move into a great age. And a lot of us have been saying it's going to be this kingdom age. It's going to be a harvest like we've never seen before. Trump and many, many others call it the golden age. But I believe the best is yet to come, just like what they are saying. And I know that the Lord has all of this in his hands. So I just want to encourage a lot of you guys. We're waiting. We're in anticipation. And I think that it is a great time to be alive. And so a lot of us, we're trying to make sense of it. But we are also holding on, we're hopeful, and we are just getting ready for what's to come. So we all have our, our role, our part. We need to be good stewards of what he has given us. So love you guys. Talk to you guys very soon.